Hello everyone, uh, today we're gonna go over lecture 6, assembly language programming. Mm, uh, last time lecture 5 we covered what? Uh, binary arithmetic, uh, octal arithmetic and hexadecimal arithmetic. Uh, basically we did the uh, binary subtraction and addition. Uh, those, let's say octal, hexadecimal binary, uh, subtraction and addition. Today we're gonna see how we can do what? the uh, uh, two's complement or let, let's leave let's leave, leave this for uh, for the end of the class the end of the lecture so I don't confuse you lecture six what are we gonna do we're gonna see how we're gonna represent what well, oops sorry negative numbers we took what did we take how to re represent uh, positive numbers yes the binary to decimal co uh, conversion that was decimal it's our number our language how do we represent it to the computer why do I need to know how to represent negative numbers why do I need to know how to represent characters all this is what data that is fed into the computer does the computer understand it does the machine understand it no so we need to know how we can represent it how is it represented how does the computer understand it and translate it to its own language. We have other types of data that the computer can take or the machine can take. For example, voice, uh, audio, let's say. It can take uh, graphics, it can take lots of multimedia uh, data. But in assembly, we don't worry how those are represented. We only care, uh, care here about uh, integers positive integers which we took earlier and today we're going to tell, uh, see how we represent neg negative integers and at the end of this lecture we're going to take how we uh, represent characters and it's really important remember guys those are the building block of assembly so if you don't know this you're not going to be able to program you're not going to be able to program and Believe me, uh, programming assembly is a big plus in your resume. Let's see, representing negative numbers. We have three types of representation. We have the sign of presentation, one's complement, and two's complement. And I can explain those really easy in here. Like the, whole, the signs of representation, they said we're going to take, and if you remember in lecture one, we talked about this is the most significant bit. If I had eight bits, I'm gonna take seven bits as the number and one bit the most significant the one on the left as the sign zero representing a positive one representing a negative so how would I represent negative seven <coughs> I have uh, the sign as one in a in a in a seven bit let's clear this erase there uh, negative 7 how am I gonna represent it in sign and usually we take either 8 bits y a byte or 16 bit a word or 32 bit which is 4 bytes which is a double word so I'm gonna represent it in 7 bits I'm gonna have 7 bits here for the number and one for the sign the sign is 1 because it's negative this one and now have 7 how uh, can I represent the seven? I do one, two, four, eight, oops, sorry, sixteen, thirty-two, uh, sixty-four. This representing how many digits? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The bits here. First bit is one, two. So what's the seven? It's going to be one, two, and four. So I'll have one, 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 and I'll put for the rest zeros. So this is a negative seven. How would I pre represent a seven? It's gonna be zero, 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 zero. Is it four zeros? Yeah, this is the sign. And I'll have one, one, one. So that's, that's good, yeah? We had problems with this. I'll come to them when we 
it take the sign representation we had the once complement then came the once complement once complement is basically flipping ones to zeros and zeros to ones so if I need to get the negative 7 I'll find the 7 which is let's say 0 0 0 0 0 and now you don't think of the sign I don't have a sign it's just this is a 7 to get the negative 7 I flip every 0 to 1 and every 1 to 0 so this representing what the negative 7 and I'll show you in a minute how does all this relate well, then we have the twos complement the twos complement came said basically we add 1 to the ones complement because we had a problem so what's the negative 7 this is the 7 this is the negative 7 and I add 1 to the negative 7 sorry let's take it here I don't want to use that 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 and I add a 1 to this Ooh. did I lose it yeah so I add a 1 to a I had it as 1 1 1 1 one that's five <coughs> that's the one's complement one more one and I had it in sign representation as this this is the sign this is the one's complement two's complement I add one to the one's complement now don't do it again one wow what what how did that happen? Zero zero one 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 one. This is the two's complement of the negative seven. Meaning this is how I represent the negative seven in two's complement. This is how I represent the negative seven in one's complement. This is how I represent the negative seven in sign representation. This is three ways to represent negative integers, let's say characters if you all heard about ASCII and we're gonna go over it extended ASCII and let's say Unicode ASCII was 7-bit Unicode was 8-bit uh, extended ASCII was 8-bit and Unicode was 16-bit representing negative numbers we said sign representation 1-bit for the sign most significant bit it has to be 0 representing positive and 1 representing negative plus 50 what is it gonna be so let's see I need to represent how many bits did I take 8 so this is gonna be 0 the sign and I have 50 this 32 48 50 And this, the conversion, we took it in what? In lecture <coughs> one and two. Go back to them, please, if you need. Now, I have negative 50 at written in our language, and I need to convert it to uh, a binary. I'll have one here for the sign. This is the sign, let's say. This is the sign. I should have put sign here. Nope. Gone. When I put a dot, I have to click with the mouse so it thinks of it as a move to the next slide. So I don't have a 64. I have a 32. I'm left with 18. I have a 16. I don't have an 8 in the 2 left. I don't have a 4. I have a 2. And I have a 0. 2 and 16 is 18 and 50. And the sign is negative. This is using sign representation sign representation will be the same yeah. this is using sign representation what's the problem with the why did we have one's complement and two's complement there why do we have two three think of that negative zero 
let's say positive zero and negative zero oh that's because and negative zero how can i represent them in eight bits let's say i'll have zero 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 this is for what the sign bit this is positive zero and this is what negative zero and what do i have here negative zero and positive zero are they different numbers no they're the same they uh, negative zero have the same value and here i have two representations i'm given the computer two representations for one number negative zero and positive zero which are the same this confuses the computer so this is not an efficient way to do it so we had the ones complement converting uh, and this is the way how they went they went from sign they went found the tenth complement ninth complement and then they went back to the one and the two that's the uh, brief history about it okay now ones complement negative 23 how do I represent it as binary? I'm not going to use a sign. I don't have a sign. I don't have here a sign. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this as 128. My range is wider now. And how can I represent? Now I'll take 23 by itself. Represent 23, which is 16 and 7. So those are what? 23. yeah one two seven twenty three and now this is represents twenty three how do I represent negative twenty three what did we say the ones complement is flipping every zero to one and one to zero so this zero 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 one zero one 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 this is gonna represent negative twenty three Flip 0 to 1 and 1 to 0. And this is we're flipping here. This is gonna be negative 23. What was the problem with this? Same thing. We had a problem. And the problem was worse than the sign of presentation. Lots of numbers are represented in two uh, same representation. Two numbers having the same representation confuses the computer. Now, this we said negative 23. But this, if you try to calculate this number now, what is it going to do? 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. Is it right? And 22. And 128. Sorry. So what's this number? Can't it be 128 and 64 is 192. And 32 is going to be 1. Uh, how much was it? 192 plus 32 is 124. 124 plus 8. Is 132 uh, 224 232 232 this in, in binary is 232 decimal so how did we take it as negative 23 and now didn't I confuse the computer more and more you're saying we this is not good approach because we had two different representation let's take your example negative zero and positive zero and now you're given a total different than 232 or two, uh, negative 23 which one is it which one is it and why and how do we know <coughs> and this is basically what they did in the ones and twos complement so what's negative 22 think of it what's negative 21 was negative 24 and try to find the relation and I'm gonna explain this here in the in the twos complement 
and let's say the twos complement what was it let's find first the twos uh, the representation of the negative 23 we said it's what the ones complement plus one how do I find the ones complement I find the uh, oh sorry this is zero this is 23 now I flip and I have this oh no here I didn't flip yet now I'll flip I have this which was 232 yeah I add one to this so I'll have what? 1 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 representing negative 23 but doesn't it represent also sorry uh, 2 32 uh, 33 because I have an extra one and uh, the ones complement it was what we got it as 2 32 yeah where did it go and we added uh, two's complement is one's complement plus one so it's gonna be two thirty three here it's two thirty two here what it is so now think of it wow how did we get this how does the computer understand two thirty three as well negative 23 let's see what's negative so let's see here let's put them here down let's write them down here so we can see if we can find a pattern and if you can guys get it we are this is 0 0 1 this representing negative 23 oh sorry 2 and 3 now what if I told you negative 22 what is it gonna equal we're gonna find the 22 what's 22 is 0 it's gonna be 16 4 and 2 1 2 4 8 16 32 and I'm gonna have here what how many of those 5 6 7 8 this is the 22 not 21 and now I find the ones complement which is 111 0 1 0 0 1 and I add to it well, <coughs> I add to it 1 so what will I have don't look at this just those two the ones complement I add to it 1 to give us the twos complement <coughs> here's this one 1 plus 1 is 0 and 1 10 one zero one zero one 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 so I'm gonna have one 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 zero one that's seven numbers what did I miss you oh I forgot this zero this is seven yeah zero one zero one zero this representing negative what 22 and this negative 23 and we also this said can equal 233 if you didn't know it's a if I didn't tell you this is a twos uh, twos complement give me I didn't tell you that I just told you I gave you this binary number told you give me what it's decimal number you're gonna tell me 233 233 so how did the, how is it the computer didn't confuse it with 233 what's the negative 22 can you see it this was what 233 232 was without this 234 and I bet you negative 21 is gonna be what 235 represent 235 is going to give you the 2's complement of the 
20, negative 20 is going to be, what? 230, 236, oops. So actually, what did we do here? to add a new slide one minute so we can write on it okay shift action no don't you want to all the way oh okay Slash L. Shift and F5, that's what I wrote. <laughs> so we said what? Negative 23 was represented as what? 233. And negative 22 was. 234 and I bet you and I told you negative 21 is going to be what 235 I didn't show it and negative 20 is going to be what 236 do you want to bet me on that or what and why is this happening and what's the two's complement one's complement we said we had eight bits yeah to represent a number eight bits eight bits how many things can i represent and there's the equation we took here we have two to the power eight so i can represent 256 things i can go from zero to 255 so now i have a range of numbers from 0 to 255 and what we did here is we said what's negative 24 can you minus 32 we're gonna divide our, our range of numbers from 0 to 255 half into positive half into negative so 0, 1 is going to be 1, 2 is going to be 2, 3 is going to be 3. Now when I get to 233, I'm going to say, I'm going to tell the computer this is a 2's complement, meaning this is representing what? Negative 23, because I broke what? This into two halves, negatives and positive numbers, so I can represent negative numbers. 234 is going to be what? Negative 22. 235, 236. 255, how much is it going to be? Who knows? Negative, well, 1 should be negative 1. 255 should be negative 1. Let's see, 255. Negative 1, 1 is going to be 1, all zeros. And then one all zeros this is an 8 bit and now I this is 7 8 I find the ones complement and I find the twos complement by adding one to this so I'm gonna have a one 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 and this is 255 in one so I have, so now from what to what is my range? I told you we divided it into half. So it's going to go from 0 to 127. This is representing, this is the positive numbers I can represent. 0 to 27. And from here what? From negative 1 to what? What do you say? 
255 how, 127 to 255 how many numbers do I have 128 so I'm gonna have here negative 128 that's my range it's gonna go from 0 or it's gonna go my range of numbers is gonna be negative 1 or unless it starts from that one negative 128 to negative 1 to 0 let's say which is the same and to sorry uh, 127 this is my hopefully you understood that why let's open another slide and or why should I open another slide let's uh, that's good so that's good so I ha I can represent what negative numbers using 8 bits mm. from negative numbers of from 128 minus to negative 1 and I can represent positive if I consider it 1 to 127 that's in 8 bit so if I told you only have uh, 4 bit how does it happen I have 2 to the power 16 2 to the power 4 which is 16 so I have 16 values so what we do is we is 0 1 2 from 0 to 15 so what we say we're gonna say we're gonna divide this range into two halves one positive one negative from 0 to 7 it's gonna be normal the positive numbers 8 is gonna represent what? Well, 8 in 4 bit is this yeah 1 2 4 8 if I convert it to 1's complement it's gonna be what? Well, flipping everything and I add 1 to it to represent what? Well, 2's complement so it's gonna be 10 1 And one, ten, one, ten, one. Oh, this is eight, and this is a. Let's say negative one. What is it gonna represent? Or what? Negative eight. Negative 8 is going to represent what? 8. Negative 9 is going to be what? No, negative 9. Negative 7. Sorry, now we go down. Negative uh, 7 equals 9. So 9 represents the <coughs> negative 7. And try it out. Try it out, guys. Uh, 10, negative 6. So I have a range from negative 8 till negative 1. Same thing applies if we had a, a word which is 16-bit. I'm going to have 2 to the power of 16 possibilities. So I have a range of numbers of 65,536. I divide this into halves. So I'm going to have... 32 number something positive and 32 number something positive plus negative this is mainly the two's complement dividing my, my range into two halves and representing some of the positive numbers as negative did it solve the problem of what the having two representations let's see how it solved it clear what is clear erase and let's take it and represent positive zero and negative zero how do I represent the negative zero 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 an eight bit let's say I'll find the ones complement and he sorry ones complement it's what flipping every zero to one and every one to zero I only have zeros here now I'll find the 2's complement by what? 
adding one to the ones complement what's this going to be zero and one one plus one is ten 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 and this is an overflow but here my eight bits were zero which also represent positive zero so this solved the problem of negative and positive zeros to its complement was a good solution now another thing let's see did they mention it here mm, no I didn't mention it but I'll go back to it here and this is erase now if I told you I'm using decimal just decimal 15 minus 19 and let's say I give you a computer assuming you have a machine that only does an addition how can I make it do the subtraction without having the subtraction as an instruction or operation what we'll do we'll do say 15 plus I have an addition there <coughs> negative 9 equals what? 6 same over if I had so we'll do the addition <coughs> plus the tools complement this will <coughs> solve the problem and let's do it on a smaller range or let's do it on let's say if I gave you I don't want it to be a big number so we can convert it to decimal these 8 bits and here's another number and I want to subtract those two binary numbers what are they in decimal? 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64. I want to 64 and 8 is 72, and 4 is 76, and 278, 78, minus what? 1, 2, 4 minus 7 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 4 is 7 so this should give me what 71 and now we said how can I do it I said I can take this it stays as is 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 and then I add to it the 2's complement of this I add the two's complement which is saying 78 plus negative 7 assuming my computer doesn't have a subtraction only does an addition so what's the two's complement of this oops the two's complement of this is uh, we'll find the ones complement which is flipping every zero to one so I have five ones and three zeros and I add one to it and this is gonna be my twos complement representing what negative seven and this is the ones complement representing this is the ones complement and this is the twos complement so I'll add the two's complement. Two, three, four, five, zero, zero, one, and I'll put one, 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 ten, ten, one, 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 ten.
did it give me a 71 is this a 71 what do you think and what happened here and 64 gave us a number even bigger than what we Two, four, eight, six, thirty-two, one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, and this is the seven. We flipped it, and we add a one. Now I have the two's complement, one, 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 and I have zero. Zero, zero, zero. Oh my! We did something wrong here. Here's three ones. Here's zero for this. Here's zero for this. And I have one with row, so I have a one one, which is going to be eleven. So this is a one. I have an overflow of one. So this is another one and a one o eleven. So I'm gonna have zero and one overflow. Mm, what is that number now? What number do I have? One, two, four. That's seven. Something is wrong. I did something is wrong. I did something wrong. Eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four. That's right. One, two, four. Two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four. One minute. We are thinking that line. We go. Those are here. Those are here. Those are here. This is with this, and I have those with this. Oh. One minute. Let's do it again with smaller numbers and see. I bet it's only one, uh, something wrong with one number. We did something wrong that I didn't see. But let's try it. Let's say 64. Let's say 70. Minus. 12. What's 70? 70 is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64. So it's going to have what? 64 is 1, 32, and 6. So I have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. This is 70. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I have a zero. That's 70, and I want to add, add what? 70 plus negative 12, which is the two's complement of 12. 
adding the two's complement of negative 12. So what's negative 12? Negative 12 is going to be 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0, and another 0. It's four numbers. So now let's say I have this 70. Here's my 12. And what we're going to do is find the ones complement for this, which is what? Which is 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. I don't need this anymore. And let's make this clear. This is the ones complement. To find the twos complement, I add a 1 to it. And I have 0, 10, oops, 0, 1. And I have 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So I don't need any of this now. I have this as 70, this as negative 12. If I add them, it should give me what? 58. Let's see. 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, which is 10, and 1, 1, which is 10, and I have an overflow of 1 or a carry, a overflow. Now, does this represent 58? 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. So this worked. And uh, 6, 32, it give me 54. did another mistake one. I'm adding okay zero one one zero one minute why it's not working now I'm doing something wrong guys sorry it should work it should work but maybe the alignments still didn't drink my yeah uh, morning coffee so the zero one ten we're adding here remember one so see here's the different one ten and I have one now it's this is one now I have a one a one and ten and this is here and I have a 10 an overflow of 1 so is this well this should be 58 70 minus 12 let's see 1 2 4 8 16 and 32 let's put 32 what is it going to be? 16 and 32 is 48 and 8 is 56 and 2 is 58 and that's that's right. Now I wish I can go back to the what was our numbers that we were trying to do? We're trying to find what? 78 minus 7? Okay, yeah. Let's do that one again has to be right no way don't ever give up easily never give up no don't sorry uh, uh, uh. what is wrong come on oh uh, 78 minus what 7 should give me 71 and uh, the way we're going to do it, we're going to do it 78 plus the 2's complement of the negative 7, which means 
it's gonna equal also 71 same thing so now what's 78 or let's find the 7 and the two come out of the 7 first and then do the 78 is the 7 why is this a 7 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 so now the ones complement how do i find the twos complement find the ones complement flipping every zero to one and every one to zero and now i add one to find the twos complement this is the ones complement remember so i'll have one zero zero one 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 now what's the 78 one two four eight sixteen thirty two and 64 and 128 here so what's uh, 78 64 plus 872 76 78 I don't know go you can check the video I'm gonna go see what mistake I did so this is the 78 are we sure 12 14 and 64 yep that's right i add to it what the two is complement this is the ones complement adding what flipping adding one to the two to ones complement will give us what the two is complement and i add it to my number so i'm doing this i'm adding the negative seven to the number that i have one 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 so this is going to be one 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 zero it's going to be what ten and one ten and one ten okay i think i did something here where i had an eleven and i wasn't supposed to ten and one this is eleven i have eleven 10 and 1 and how much this this is 64 plus 4 which is 68 70 71 right good job see how we did it You should be glad that we did a mistake, we did it twice. Now character storage. By now we know how to represent decimal number or integers, positive integers. We know how to represent negative integers. And now we're gonna see how we represent characters. An A, a B, a C, a D. We have what's called character sets. And first they use standard ASCII. They said we're gonna use seven bits, seven bits to represent what uh, characters, and they call it ASCII standard ASCII. Two to the power seven is what one twenty eight. So the range of my number. Sorry, uh, the range of my numbers are from zero to one twenty seven. So they came and said, well, I'm going to have 65 representing a character. 66 representing a small. Uh, B character, sorry. Uh, 67, and we're going to see the ASCII table in a minute. Then they said that wasn't not, that, that's not enough. How are you going to represent all the languages around the world? We have what? We have Arabic uh, characters, we have uh, Jap uh, Japanese and Chinese symbols with some, or some will say, I don't know, uh, they have 5,000 symbols and they went down to uh, about uh, 1,500 symbols. So, can I represent those in, in a standard ASCII? No, the 7 bit. How about they extended it to 2 to the power 8, which is extended ASCII, which is 0 to 255. I only have 256 possible. Did that solve the problem? No. They went to what's called Unicode, which is 2 to the power 16. 
to its power 16 and uh, I have from 0 to uh, 65,535 representation or things I can represent and that's I think it's enough even if we find an alien language or something or whatever comes we can this is enough for uh, now let, I want to show you this thing uh, is uh, the ASCII table it's really important to know and it's really important in programming so we can now let's see this looks clearer more clear come on here's my ASCII table and description extended ASCII codes those that are were added extra do they they do the Unicode no okay so now we go here the null this is the null zero start of heading for example, let's see special character from 0 to 31. I think they were special. 32 space on the computer is what? 32 is decimal, is space. 33 is explanation. Uh, double quotes is 34. Decimal value, this is the hexa value, and this is the octal value. And we took all of those. Now, what about letters? Those are special character digits, 0 through 1. 0 equals 48 that's in the ASCII table just and here we have A65, B66, C those are all the capital letters we have those special characters in between them then I have what? the small letters 97 plus uh, A small equals 97 B small equals 98 that's why in if we're doing programming if I say is a small if a small is greater than a capital is it true or false it's true it's gonna take a small a greater value as well as 97 now if I had gaith and gaith capital which is my name d-a-i-t-h and let's I don't think we can do it What's, let's see what's G. G small. Uh, I think I know mine is mm, 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 71. I should. Oh, that came as the result. That's good. 103. 71 and 103. Let's see. Let's go back to the slides. 71 and 103. Just keep those in mind. Let's go to this slide and mm. so if I had if I'm comparing two strings D A I T H sorry capital this capital and I had D and A and I Oops. And T, no, no. And H gaze. Let's see if we can draw this in a better way. Hey, that one. And we're comparing th those strings. Which one is greater than the other? What happens here? How does it compare? Takes this as a value of 103. What? This amount, this is what? 71. So this is going to be greater. That's in C++, Java, or anything you take. Those, uh, I noticed lots of students have a problem when you're trying to do anything regarding strings or characters. Remember, the computer thinks of a D as well as a binary number as a decimal he thinks of it as 71 not a D he doesn't know it's a G that's how we programmed it to do the other stuff so how do I pre represent a gate is gate a character no it's a string 
but a string is an array of characters so it's gonna have G first letter A so it's divided into characters and we'll go into arrays in more details and strings later on let's leave it here and let's see a uh, unicode what is unique oh no 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 did I open that one and we have other also character sets Depending on the architecture, we watch it, which they use, but is the way I like it, to explain it. And we can see you have all those letters that can be added. Let's see what the problem with it is. Uh, The others are, they have a really long names, AC and NSC, something they call it. NCA, or the British, BNCA. It is UTF, okay, UTF, yeah. HTML. What also do they have? They didn't do any others. binary coded decimal and BCD this is okay that's the one I we have the binary coded decimal which is I think one is 16 <coughs> UTF okay US ASCII UT uh, code and GB consists of 8 bit uh, binary coded decimal and uh, UTF 16 which is 16 bit and 32 bit Think in a 32 bit, how many things can I represent? Unicode encoding model. So there's other character set, but mainly I focused on those. But now to understand how we went from ASCII, extended ASCII, uh, 8 bit to Unicode uh, 16 bit, and we have the 32 bit. So now go back to the slides. I think we're done. Ooh. We finished here. And this was lecture six. Hopefully, uh, we don't have that much left. I'm not sure if I give you the floating point representation, how to, to represent floating points or not, or leave it to the computer organization class. But I'll, I'll see, but uh, I think next lecture will be Boolean Algebra and Truth Tables and the Gates and all of that. If you have any questions guys, please leave it in the comment section below. Remember the tournament, the tournament. I only need 10 students, even 7, 8, I don't care. Uh, I'll, I'll go with it but I need to see you studying and you're gaining something so I'm gonna give you uh, an exam or let's say a quiz or a tournament between you guys it's gonna be you have to first to win it you have to get above 50 uh, let's say out of 100 I don't want you to get 35 okay and say oh. uh, it's gonna be programming mainly assembly programming and it'll be uh, hopefully after a month Let's say we'll finish the assembly from here to two, three weeks, and I'll give you a week to review, study, and then we'll give you a tournament. Mostly it's for my students, but if you can prove to me you're a college student or any YouTubers there, I might consider that. Today is what? Today is the. Let's see what's today. 
is the 12th of June so let's say it'll be something around that day in July <coughs> Okay guys, thank you and see you later.